Hey, my name is Megan Whitney. I am the owner of Core Bookkeeping. We are a virtual bookkeeping firm that helps small business owners organize their finances. And today I wanted to talk about a common issue I see with a Jobber and QuickBooks integration. So for starters, you should already have Jobber and QuickBooks um, integrated together, but now you are running into the problem where when you are running a balance sheet, there's so much um, undeposited funds that you know are deposited into the bank, or you look at your profit and loss and um, your income is way overstated. And that could be an issue, especially around tax season. We don't want to overstate our income because then we'll need to pay more taxes on it. So we always want to make sure our income is correct and our expenses. So like I said, Jobber should already be integrated with QuickBooks. The issue we are running into is that Jobber does not match payments that it receives to the invoices it creates in QuickBooks. <clears throat> so you should have two tabs open. First one is QuickBooks, and you should go ahead to your banking screen. My screen may look a little different than yours, um, but this is where your bank transactions pull in and go ahead and select the bank that Jobber um, sends deposits to. The second tab you should have open is Jobber. And on the left hand side, go ahead and find your reports tab. And within that, let's select payouts and we will have our payouts open. So I want to make sure that you also have um, your QuickBooks synced up, up to date. If it's not already, go ahead, click on the tab and follow the instructions to sync the job or QuickBooks takes maybe five minutes or less. The gray ones are not synced. The green ones say they are synced, um, but I still like to go back a few days prior um, so I'm actually near the end of August, but right now I'm still working on July <clears throat> um, within the QuickBooks. You can select how many days it goes back and so forth. So this is the amount that Jobber deposits into QuickBooks, and we need to find that within our banking screen. Go ahead to the banking screen. As again, I said I was going to go earlier in August. So um, let's go ahead and find one. Um, we'll start off with maybe this smaller one. So you may have rules set up that go ahead and send Jobber to your revenue account. I need you to stop those rules because we actually need to manually match them with transactions. Um, so instead of them going straight to the sales um, revenue account, you need to stop that rule and then also go to categorized and undo any Jobber um, deposits that it already has accepted. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's go back early August. Let's start off with an easier one. We're gonna go ahead and select in the line. Don't hit add. We're gonna select the line and then we need to go find a match. So I'm gonna go find the same thing in Jobber. So early August 44631. Open this up so you get the details of who it was from and how much the original invoice was from. So we know it was from Andrew for $48. Um, we need to scroll down and okay so there's two options here andrew and andrew both are for 48 dollars but the deciding factor is going to be the date i know that the income hit my account early august so it can't be this invoice from 8 11 so we're going to go ahead and select the end of july one and the total is 48 dollars but we know jobber only deposited 46 dollars and 31 cents so there's this discrepancy, and the discrepancy is due to Jobber taking out a merchant fee. So we need to fix that. Um, whatever your expense account is for that, maybe it's merchant fees, maybe it's processing fees, maybe it's a sub-account of bank fees, and um, the amount needs to be negative, that amount. So negative $1.69 so that our discrepancy is zero and let's hit save. That was a pretty simple, straightforward one. Once you hit save, it already moved it from the bank account to categorize it as income and you do not need to see the transaction again in the bank feed. I want to take you through another um, one just to show you how sometimes they can be a little bit different. So again, I wanna go early August. Um, I'm thinking that 1700 one. Let's go back to payouts. Let's scroll down early August. Is there one? Yes, there's a matching one for 1799. So the difference here is that we have multiple invoices um, that are connected 
to this one deposited that happened on August 3rd. So again, we're not clicking add, we're clicking the center of the line, find match. It will open up our screen. And just like we saw on this original screen, there's a lot of different invoices here. So we need to match them all up and they were all probably paid on July 31st. Let's start off with Jean and the total was 290. Let's see if we can find late July for Jean for 290, perfect. And we need to go through one by one. So who's next? Um, Derek for 220 and Derek for 260 and Kristen for 260 and Susanna for 150 and Steve for 435 And one more, Katie and Michael for 240. All right, so we scroll down to the bottom. Our total is 1855. Let's see, total is 1855. Great, but there was that um, transaction fee. Any merchant, whether it's Square, or Clover, they're going to take a fee to process that transaction to put it in your bank account. So our total is fifty-five ninety. That should match up with this amount. So we need to resolve it again. It is probably going to be merchant fees or payment processor fees, and the amount needs to be negative fifty-five dollars and ninety cents. So you need. To make sure that the difference is zero, click save. You are done with that one. You need to go through each um, deposit and match it to the correct account. Again, I like to go back several days or several weeks um, just so that the jobber integration works a little more smoothly. Whereas if I try to do the ones from this week, they may not all be in the bank. The invoices may not be all matched up with Jobber, so I have more luck if I go back several weeks and that gives time for Jobber and QuickBooks to be caught up. But I hope that helps you resolve the issue between Jobber and QuickBooks and let me know if you ever have any more questions. Thank you.